everybody, welcome to Make Movies Now. This is a place if you'd like to make silly, dumb videos using DaVinci Resolve. So I'll show you how to make this binocular effect today. Hey, check these out. They're magical binoculars. Oh, hey, thanks. Oh. Wow, how'd you do that? Yeah, they're magical. What? Well, yeah, but how'd you do it? They're magical. And here we are in DaVinci Resolve, and I'll show you how to do that binocular effect. So I've brought my video into the media pool. I brought it down at the timeline. And right now we're on the edit page. Today we're going to focus on using the color tab. Now for this effect, you can also use the Fusion tab as well, but again, we're going to focus on using the color page. So if you click on the color page, there's going to be a couple of different things that you'll see on this page. You're going to see our clip in the top left. You're going to see our nodes in the top right, some keyframes, bottom right, a variety of different tools that you can use in the middle. Right now we're selected under the power windows, and then our color wheels are off to the left, and then our clip again, the timeline is in the middle. We're not gonna get into all the different things today, but just to give you a quick tour of what the interface is. Now, you may not see this node tree here, and if you don't, you can go to the top right where it says nose and click. Also, you may have some effects open. You can also click on that to open or close that window. Today we're going to focus on some of the tools in the middle here. And again, you can click on the power window tool. And again, you can click on the power window tool. So to create the binocular effect, we're going to use what's called a mask. And a mask is really trying to focus in on a certain area in the clip. So we're going to click on the circle to create a power window. And we're going to use two of these. So add one more circle. Then you can see some little circles on the side here. You can adjust the size of those windows. Want a little bit of overlap to sell the effect. Now when you create the power window, you'll notice that the full frame is showing here. But if you look over to the right under your node tree, if you focus closely, you'll see some of that area has been grayed out. And the reason it's not showing on our clip is because we haven't created an alpha output channel. So on your mouse, you click the right button and click Add Alpha Output. You'll see a blue dot is created on the right. And what we'll do is connect the blue square to the blue dot, which completes the effect. And with this, you can see my boxes and circles aren't quite adding up. So we'll change that here. And there it is. To see the final effect, you can go back into the edit page here. And you'll see the effect take place. Now back in the color tab, we won't dive too deep into it today, but just to give a little bit of effect, you can go into the color wheels to the left, go into the offset tool, and provide a little bit more color onto your frame. If you wanted to give it kind of a night type of feel you can pull it closer to the green or if you'd like kind of an early morning winter feel give it a little bit of blue here again back to the edit page and again here's the final effect thanks for watching hey thanks for watching if you like what you saw hit the like button at the bottom hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell notification so the next time that we upload video, you'll make sure to be notified. Also, if you could, drop a comment in the... <laughs> also, you can, drop a comment in the comment section below and tell me what else you'd like to see in DaVinci Resolve. Thanks. Have a great day.